Assalamualaikum. Today I'll be talking about um, H5P interactive videos. So where can you start curating your H5P interactive videos in um, the Moodle platform? In this case, it's you can follow. You go to site pages, click content bank, and um, at the content bank there, you can uh, look for interactive videos under the add button. So there, I'm clicking on the interactive videos. Um, it's quite easy and uh, the display is very intuitive. Um, there's a guide that will be able to help you to um, move through uh, the steps that is um, necessary to create an interactive video. So today I'm creating an interactive video on actinomycosis. I went to YouTube and found one open source. So I'm copying the link to the video and then I'm pasting it up at the um, interactive video display section of the Moodle. So um, acknowledge the copyrights. Just say yes and save it there. After the copyrights have been acknowledged, what you can do is you can move on to add interactions. So the video has been uploaded. Click add interactions. And you can see that the videos have been added and now you're ready to add interactions to the video. So there are many interactions that you can add in the interactive video. The first one that I'm going to add is a title. It is basically a simple title to show the student what the video is all about. The next one, this one is a crossroad. So um, what does a crossroad do is sometimes because these videos are not videos that we have created so um, there may be redundant content which you feel that is um, not relevant to the students um, learning needs so what you can do is you can just skip that part of the video and go to the necessary components for example in this case i've highlighted a few components and i've tagged the components along at the different time duration relative to the um, timing of the video so for example if the student click history it will directly go to minute um, one and the first minute and 23 seconds uh, if the student wish to see the uh, molar tooth macroscopic vision it will go to the subsequent minutes and so forth so at the end of this um, uh, exercise if the students wish to revise on certain portions of the lessons that means if the student wants to go to the history, they can just click history. They don't want to look at the history, but they want to revise other parts of it. They can go to other parts. So, of course, you can customize. You can um, uh, choose at which duration you want it to be appeared. Uh, for example, in, in this uh, video, you'll be able to see there are many options. For example, it can, be appear, it can appear as buttons or even posters. So you're free to choose which kind of appearance you want it to be on the video. I personally like the poster ones because it tends to be more visible for the students. So this is another example where you can add um, statements. Yeah? So true and false statements for the students to choose. It also adds up interactivity in which the student has gone through some of the contents of the video and the students will be able to answer this if, let's say, they have um, understood the content of the video. So um, you can either write the statement or pre-write them in your template and copy and paste. There's a mark range. Okay, this one is appearing as a button. I don't like it. So I wish it to be in a form of poster. So if you can see if it's in the form of poster, you can make it bigger so that the student realizes this and um, you can customize its size. You can also customize the duration of um, a particular piece or a particular statement that you want it to go through. So please um, take note that this is not a form of assessment and it is part of activities that you give to the student as part of teaching and learning. So therefore, the students are not penalized if, let's say, they answered wrongly and instead it's used to improve their understanding of a certain topic. So the next thing that I'm going to show is the true and false um, questions. So there are two tabs written there, multiple choice with multiple true and false choices and single true and false. 
So in this example, I'm going to um, choose poster and I'm going to write one true and false question here. So you can choose to import the title or if you don't want so it is also okay but the question is mandatory as it comes up in the video. So I'm writing there select the so just write the question there that's also okay. So I'm going back to write the question. So the question is supposed to go there and then you're supposed to choose, the student is supposed to choose whether it is true or false. Copy and paste. And choose the correct answer, whether it's true or false. If you see here, you can add behavioral settings, marks and so forth. But I'm not doing it um, for the sake of demonstration because it's going to take a lot of time. Okay. You can drag and drop and this is another feature that I want to show. This is label. So if the video does not provide um, sufficient information regarding certain things, you might want to add up to the information that's already there in the video. For example, I wish to add more description on the microscopic picture of um, uh, a lesion showing um, actinomyces infection and there the label is coming up and I can customize the timing even right so now we're moving on um, to the next um, interaction which is filling the missing words so what we can do is we can put a standard text of information and um, we can decide what you want to be blanked so that the student can fill in the missing words in the sentence. So if we ever forget how to format it, just click show um, instructions. Generally for missing in the blanks, you put asterisk before and after the missing word. So um, customize the display time and click done. For that, toggle it, move it where you want it to be. Right. So the last portion is um, the summary. So generally a summary would include the learning points that um, you wish to highlight in a particular interactive video. So you may gather statements which are correct and incorrect. Um, and generally the first statement is the correct statement and then the other statements are false statements. Yeah? So um, you put this up and the student will be able to answer when it appears at each attempt, the um, uh, options will be reordered. Yeah? So the students won't be able to remember which option is correct just by memorizing the sequence of the question. So this is how we are going to add the created H5P videos in the content bank. You just turn editing on, go to the course page and then add a H5P activity. So you must key in the settings of the H5P and then at the package file, click the file button there and choose the file that you have created just now. Just now I've created three different files. I like to the middle um, uh, file best and I click save and display and there we've got the interactive videos that we have created. Um, before we log out, just check that all the interactive activities are there in the video and it's functioning well. Yep. Yeah, that's a true and false question. And this is filling, fill in the missing words. And last is the summary dialog. Right, so you are good to go and we can share these to our students. So that marks uh, the end of my sharing for today. I hope you have benefited. Thank you.